Hey y'all, Papa here. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Today, we're gonna smoke some pork butts. So, let's get this grill fired up. We're using a expert grill. You can use a Traeger, you can use a Pit Boss. I'm cheap, I don't have no money, so I'm using an expert grill, Walmart brand. Good grill. All right, check your grill, make sure it's clean. We're going to set this one at 250 degrees. Not very good, 200, that's 100. Uh, make sure you set it for Fahrenheit, not Celsius. We all mess up. Some of us do more than others. All right, we're at 250. Might better add a few more pellets. Now you want to preheat your grill for about 15 minutes before you put your butts on. Now, your temperature that you're going to run at is basically going to depend on the weather, your grill. And that's about it. All right, we're going to let this preheat for about 15 minutes. And uh, we'll be right back with the butts. But right now, we're going to cut. Last night, we... Uh, Put the rub on them and let them set overnight in the refrigerator so the flavor kind of soak in. So we're going to go to that. We'll be back in a little bit. All right, we're trimming a lot of the fat off so that we can get a good bark. I was told that I could not do this because this was the most important part and she didn't want me to mess it up. There. Here's my hand, there's her hand. What do we do with the fat that gets trimmed off? I actually save it, put it in the freezer for when we get venison so we can grind our sausage and add the fat. But you can also cut them in little pieces and fry them. And 
there's what we're left with. Now you can, <clears throat> you can leave the fat on it and just store it. Checkerboard style. favorite rub whatever you like to like like to make or buy she makes her own rub she won't tell me what I was in it so yellow mustard or whatever you want to use. Well, we're gonna do, we're doing two butts. So we're gonna go ahead and get the other one done. But as far as y'all know, it's already done and it's on the grill right now. All right, been about 15 minutes. Grill's up to 280. It's good enough, it's a little high, but it'll come down. We got our butts here. Looking good. We got to put them on this grill. They've been sitting in the fridge overnight with the rub and the mustard and all the good stuff. Alright, over here on this side, we got one of those little uh, cupcake, aluminum cupcake trays. We cut two of the pockets out of it. No, I ain't gonna lick it. I don't want to. Fill it full of apple juice. That way you can uh, keep your butts moist and infuse a little bit of that apple flavor into them. We're gonna take our thermometer over here. Beat 
it in. Maybe. Why didn't y'all remind me to bring a rag out with me so I could clean my hands off? Come all the way across over here to this biggest one. And whenever you put your thermometer in there, you don't want it right up against the bone, but you want it in a thick part of the meat towards the middle. We're gonna go right there. All right. I'll have to look back and see what the temp needs to be when they're done, but this is gonna take, you know, anywhere from eight to 12 hours. Could go a little bit longer, could be a little bit shorter. But uh, we're going to let them smoke for a while. About every hour, we're going to take and spritz them with a little bit of apple juice. Help keep them moist. Yeah, after a little while, we'll cover them up with aluminum foil and let them bake real good. So this ain't a how-to video. This is how I do it video. Y'all can do it this way. Y'all can do it another way. Yeah, it's, it's up to you how you want to do it. Yeah, this is outdoors with Pawpaw. This ain't fix it. We don't teach you how to do stuff. We show you how we do stuff. We have some fun. Yeah, I'd rather be fishing. But this is, this is what we're doing. We're smoking these butts. One of them we're going to eat now. The other one we're going to turn into pulled pork. And it's going to go on our camping trip with us in about a week. Yeah, it's going to have plenty of time. We're going to freeze it. You're going to get all that flavor soaked into it. Oh, my God, it will make your tongue knock you out. It's going to be awesome, y'all. So y'all stay with me. We'll check on this in about an hour. Spritz it with a little bit of apple juice, see what it's looking like. Yeah, it's going to take it a while before it starts changing and really looking good. Yeah, it looks good now, but I ain't going to eat it. I don't want that salmonella all over me, you know. But uh, we'll be back in about an hour. Well, y'all see it in about a second. All right, we're back. Temperature's hovering. You know, it's between 240, 250. Sometimes it'll go a little over 250. Meat temperature's 95 in the middle. I think it's supposed to be up around 190. A little over 200 somewhere around there i'll double check on that but uh it'll rise pretty quick about 150 it'll probably stay there for a while you'll think it's not going to keep cooking but either give it time and it'll start cooking or you can turn it up like i said this ain't a how-to video it's just how i do it got my spray bottle right there with uh apple apple juice in it just any old cheap apple juice so let's check these butts and see what they're looking like. Oh, they still look pretty close to what they did a while ago until they start to get a little color. It's only been an hour. There's our little cups with apple juice. So let's take our spray bottle and You don't want to overdo it. You don't want to leave it open too long. Because in just that little bit of time, see what our temps drop down to. All right. Well, we're going to do this every hour. I don't know if I worry about getting you another shot of it. But we'll see. Might keep a check on it. See what it looks like hour by hour. All right. We're on hour number two. Let's see what they're looking like. Ah, uh, there ain't much change in it, but we're going to spritz them again. Uh, 
Alright. Internal temp 131. Temperature drop back down. It'll come right back up. Alright, y'all. We're back. Been about four and a half hours. Internal temps up to about 178, 179. We bumped the temperature up a little bit, about 275. I dropped it back down to 260. 275 was just too much. Let's see what it looks like. Oh man, would you look at them? Almost looks edible there. Yep, I gotta put some more. Let's spray these down. Alright, let's step in there and get some more apple juice. You know what? Me. Just pour some apple juice out of this bottle into it. Yeah, it's cooking that apple juice. Temperature got up a little bit warm. I think it's still going to be good. Getting that nice bark on there. Here shortly, they're going to get pulled out. Put in the pan, covered with aluminum foil, and stuck back in here. And we'll let them cook low and slow for about an hour, two hours. Yeah, I think we're going to be, be hitting that, uh, I done lost track of what I was going to say. Yeah, eight hours about what we're going to have in it. All right, we'll see you on a minute. All right, so it's time to take these off and get them wrapped up and stick them back on. Oh, yeah, they're getting right. Just test some pieces right there. That's hot. She had to taste test it. Since we're covering it up, all these good juices right here. top of them. Alright, well we're going to take it in and get it all wrapped up and we'll bring it back out here. Alright, we fixing to pull these off. As you can tell, it's been raining on us today. My yard's a mess. Pumpkins for my son's party. And uh, we had to put it under a canopy. Keep it at temp. So here we go, let's pull them off.
the smoker turned off. Y'all want to see what it looks like now, or y'all want to see what it looks like when we get inside? Give you a little sneak peek. We're going to set these in the oven, still in the pan, still covered, for a little while, hour or so. Let them rest. Love if y'all can see that. Woo! Looky there, looky there. Alright, let's get them inside. We're going to stick them in the oven. The oven will not be turned on. It will be off. They just need to rest a little bit. You could eat it right now, but it's better. Let it sit. It'll taste a lot better. Be a lot more tender. So whenever we get done with it, get them resting, we'll be back. Y'all can see what it tastes like. We're fixing to get wet. All right, we'll see y'all in a bit. All right, it's time for the big reveal, and we will be done. our butts huh. all right and that is our pork butts, we smoked them for right around seven hours. They turned up nice and juicy. taste the apple in them. Well, that's it. Now that I'm not choking on pork, y'all have a good one, and we'll see y'all next time.